I'm the kind of person that it's not really an option for me to not create things. I just feel like um, it's just it's something I have to do to express myself. I'm not really that great with words a lot of the time, so I feel like I do better with imagery and um, kind of um, once I can start working in more of a three-dimensional way, um, I feel like I can express myself better. Today we're talking with Jill Beninato with SitStaySmile.com. She recently organized a terrific fat book project where she invited a group of us pet portrait artists to submit pages. There were 13 of us all together and uh, we created 14 books. Um, every artist got a book and uh, one book will be donated for a place to bark for a charity um, auction in November. So anyway, um, enjoy the interview excerpts from the interview we did with Jill. Thanks. The dog, oh, and tell me about the sisterhood of the pet portrait artist. Now, how did you, how did you decide, and by the way, I'm very honored to have been included, and um, oh. how did you decide who to contact, and w tell me a little bit about the, what I would imagine, organizational nightmare, probably not, you're a positive <laughs> person, you won't call it that. How was it trying to hurt us all into doing what we needed to do? I know it was done mostly with email, but was it pretty easy? Um, did you, you know, or was it challenging, you know, to get well, everybody to get you stuff on time? You know, I guess to start, um, the way I, I, you know, I had this idea, you know, I was going online, you know, like I do, I spend hours, you know, wasting away my day, going and <laughs> surfing around and checking out everyone's blogs, and I just started to notice that a lot of us were all drawn to each other because of either what we did or that we just liked each other's work, you know, all, all these dog artists were commenting on each other's blogs, and I noticed that Everyone was always going to each other's blog and being very supportive, and I loved everybody's work, and I was thinking, gosh, I wish I could afford to, to really support all these different artists out here. If I could, I would order a portrait or a painting or something from every one of them because I just love what everyone's doing. And I thought, well, how can, how can I organize something that we can all, you know, maybe do a project together where we'll each give a little piece of each other's um, work and style and, and it not be too overwhelming for everybody. So right. at first I thought, well, maybe we could do it um, like a round robin journal um, swap. And then I thought, you know, all these ladies are as busy as I am and no one's going to have time to be keeping up with, you know, 10 different journals going on all over the place. So I immediately thought, how about let's do something like a fat book where everyone can, you know, just create that one piece of art, make multiples of it, and send it to me, and I would do the, the hard part because I've yes. done it before, and I thought that might make it more appealing to the other <laughs> artists. But it you did a great much. job. You did an amazing job, Jill. I, but, um, everyone was full. You know, it was a labor of love because I, I honestly have felt so honored to know all of these different people, even like you, we've never spoken on the phone before, but you have given me so much help, so many tips, so much, you know, in terms of advice that I thought, you know, let's do something that can maybe kind of bridge maybe a little bit of the gap so we all might get to know each other a little bit better and mm -hmm. in the process wind up with a really cool book with a sample of everyone's work. And I have to say, you know, being honest, it was not easy um, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get everybody to get their pages in on time. You know, mm -hmm. I've had enough experience with fat books to know that you're always going to have people that need to drop out or you're always going to have people that are late or people that waited to the last minute and maybe didn't do the best work that they could have, you know, just right. the nature of the beast. So I was expecting that. And to be honest with you, I didn't mind for one minute. You know, it. of course, it's, you know, you hate to kind of come off as a pit bull that had to say, where are your pages? Where are your pages? <laughs> I was just trying to be as... Oh no! You were like you were the you were the cow dog that was hurting us all into the right little area. Yeah. Not a pit bull, so a cow dog. It was tricky, but I had faith that once you all got your books back, that you would probably be like I was with my first book and just say, "Gosh, I'm so glad I did this." I complained about it. I hemmed. I hawed. I was kind of maybe even pissy about having to do so many pages. But once you get it in your hand, you're like, mm. "Wow." It is pretty you know, it cool. It really makes it worth it. It is pretty so cool. My goal with the 
book was to try and do the coolest thing I could without it putting me in the poorhouse mm-hmm. and within my time constraints, you know, try and do something that was unique, you know, wasn't just slapped together. I wanted you all to feel like you got a, a book that, you know, I really put some thought into. So that was my that was my goal. And then, you know, wanting to benefit Bernie Shelter was another um, big issue for me. Every fat book yes. I've passed, I've, I've done that it benefits a charity. Almost everyone, I think, has benefited Bernie. Yeah. But, you know, I think that that adds another layer to the experience. It makes it um, meaningful on a different level to know that in the end, this, this could wind up helping, you know, someone or, you know, dogs, cats, whoever, whoever needs help, you can kind of right. um, structure these projects to help whoever you want to help. And that last book is going to be auctioned on, what, November 15th? Is that right? Okay. For 15th on eBay, it will go up for auction. Um, I think it'll probably be up for auction in six or seven days, um, what the typical time frame is. But um, yeah, the book will go up for auction, and um, hopefully we'll raise um, a little bit of money for uh, Place to Bark. It's such a wonderful um, rescue in Bernie. I mean,